Welcome back to the Frederick Family Acre. If you are new here, welcome. My name's Katrina. And I'm George. And today we are going to be showing you guys how to build a very simple, small print hydroponic system called the Crack Key Method. Now, hydroponics is something that I got interested in actually right when we started discussing uh, doing gardening. I wanted to do hydroponics. What drew me to it was the fact that you can save a ton of water, like 70%, up to 70% in the right systems of water that you can save compared to conventional gardening. The thing that turned us off and probably turns a lot of people off is that it can be very expensive to get into. Actually, our first systems that we bought for gardening were the tower garden, Right? Uh, it's Garden Tower by Juice Plus, and we'll link an unboxing video of that if you want to see more of it. And I think we also have a picture or video we can put over here yeah. too. Um, but it was expensive, right? And we bought three of them. It was very expensive, uh, but they work really well. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> love them. Yeah, hydroponics, hydroponics grows really, really clean plants really, really fast. We're going to show you how to do it on the cheap. <laughs> And before we get into this, I do want to apologize for any noise you hear. We have a neighbor pressure washing their pool deck. We moved and then our other neighbors turned on music for a project they're working on. So bear with us. We're going to do the best we can, but we want to get this vlog shot. And sometimes that's just the nature of vlogging in a more suburban urban setting. Yeah. Um, and we do have a few things that we're doing today that you probably won't want to copy uh, until we get them fleshed out. One is we're using our own uh, hydroponic fluid or nutrient. Uh, we made this with worm compost, uh, Epsom salt, molasses, and actually uh, calcium nutrient that we made from eggshells. And also we did put in some seaweed that we were able to forage because we are fortunate to be coastal. So we can go get that seaweed and make our own kelp meal, which makes that much more affordable for us. And once we figure out if this works really well, we'll go ahead and do a tutorial on how we did it with complete uh, recipe for that when the time comes. So the other thing that you'll notice is we have two different types of net cups. Uh, we have a more traditional style, which has venting all the way around for roots. And this is what you would buy online or in your gardening store. And then we have a style that I designed and 3D printed, which only has venting on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, three of the ones that I made and three of the ones you can get in the store. And we're going to weigh the final crop to see if there was a difference in the roots coming out the side versus just the bottom. In this method specifically, it hangs in the nutrient solution anyways. So the roots are gonna go down with the fluid as the fluid is used, because you never add fluid back to this after you get it started. Now our hope with using the more closed net cup is that there's gonna be less room for evaporation, but not a lot of loss in growth or vigor of our plants. Let's get into the supply list. Uh, first, you're gonna need a container. Uh, this is the one that we've chosen. Uh, we estimate this is going to be good for about six leafy greens, uh, but you can choose to your choice. You could use a plastic shoe box if you wanted or scale it as big as you want and set this up in a pool. Seriously, it can scale <laughs> massively. You do, you do want to make sure that whatever you choose to use, you do have a lid or something that can go over the top because that is what is going to hold your neck cups. We're gonna go over the tools and supplies that you need outside of the container. Uh, first off, I have a scrap piece of wood here. This is just to allow me to put the lid on when I'm drilling my holes so there's a backing and we don't go through the table, which I <laughs> cut through tables tons. Uh, I also have a tape measure. Um, and then I'm going to be using squares to line up my holes so they're even on the lid and placed with the appropriate amount of room. Uh, and then I have a Sharpie, you could use a pencil or whatever, and then a drill with a hole saw with the appropriate size for your net cups, which for us is two and one eighth of an inch. 
Uh, in addition to all the proper tools, you are going to need your nutrients of choice. Like George said earlier, we are trying out a homemade brew here, rock wool, and we are gonna be planting some purple lady bok choy. We love bok choy. It's a really fun, delicious green to grow. And in addition to your nutrient, you're just gonna need enough water to top off your container. And we'll show you how full that'll be, but basically you fill up to just on the inside of your net cups so they can get wet and nutrient, but not all the way up to the seed. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this lid and we're gonna figure out where our net cups are gonna go. So I happen to know that we're drilling a two and one eighth inch hole. So we're just gonna measure how far away from that distance. These have ridges. Uh, if you don't have ridges, just go right from the edge. You kind of just wanna center them in place. So there's one here and one here. If you're doing three rows, you would do three evenly spaced from either side. So you can see here, what I did is I just marked one side where I wanted it and then I used a square to run over to the other side and drew a line and marked my spots in the same place. So we're gonna get six evenly measured net cups in this lid. Uh, when you're drilling plastic, especially if it's elevated like this, it's a really good choice to, to not apply much pressure. Um, the drill is heavy enough that if you just let it go, it'll kind of force its way down through there. So you don't want to push when you're drilling through the lid or it's going to crack. So now we're going to drill out, now that we've piloted every hole, um, you're going to want to be really careful when you do this or maybe clamp it with wood or something if you have a flat lid. Uh, this isn't a flat lid, so I'm going to hold kind of around the hole saw. Uh, but you want to do your pilots first and then come back in very gently and lightly with no pressure at all, just go right through the plastic. There you go, money. Through. But now that this is done, we're gonna do a little dry fit and we've got our net cups and we're gonna go ahead and fit them in and make sure they fit as intended. And magic, a hole that was drilled to the right size fits things that are the right size. Now we're gonna add our nutrient, we're gonna add water, and then we're gonna plant our seeds, and that's it. It is really that easy to get some food going super fast. Look at all that goodness. And what we're gonna go ahead and do, all that sediment, George is gonna hose that out, and we're gonna make sure to get it all in here mixed up. We went ahead and got the water topped up as high as we need to go, which as you can see, is about a half an inch from the bottom of the net cups. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our seeds planted and get the rock wool in here and that's it. And that is the crack key method. It is very easy and can be extremely inexpensive. If you have these totes or a tote laying around, no matter how small, you can do this in a mason jar if you wanna do it in a mason jar. You can do it in anything that will hold water. The big thing is you don't want light getting through because that can cause algae to grow. And another thing you can do if you are not a big family like ours, we'll go through all of this, but you could do, like George said, a mason jar and just start a new one. 
every week or every few days, do some succession sewing or even just add one rock wool into your cups every few days. And that way you won't have to try and store your harvest. You can just be eating fresh right out of there whenever you want to. We really wanna thank you guys for hanging out with us while we do this. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this gives some of you the drive to try hydroponics and see what it can do for you. We are very excited to be exploring this form of growing more, especially with how many areas are beginning to experience drought. There aren't any water restrictions for us here yet, but we are trying to be proactive and we hope that this will help you be proactive too. And we will see you guys back here soon. Yeah, and our hope for this is that if there's... <laughs> Every time. All, right. All the turkeys are watching us All right, right now. Mm, we don't have rock wool or seeds. BRB, rock wool or seeds. We forgot the rock wool and the seeds. You need that to, to grow things. I'll go get it. This is perfect. What is? The thong song. <laughs> what is this? The How song? You don't know this song? No. Why it, would I know this? It was super popular That's when we were nice. in high school. It sounds like a really shitty song. It is. Look at that. No cracks. Gold star. 14 gold stars. <laughs> Actually, six. <laughs>